think I have all those adjustments up there done. Now this goes on here. Be nice to have to be loose enough to rotate. All right. This guy goes on here. I have to put something at the bottom so all that doesn't fall off. Yellow wire? Jamie? No, this one goes this way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's. I need a paper clip. Well, I, I don't have a paper clip, which is what I wanted. I have a spring. I want a paper clip because it's not heat treated. It's easier to bend and get it to stay where you want. Spring is springy, it bounces back. So is that what a paper clip looks like? No. <laughs> if you see a paper clip, you'll know what I'm talking about. Don't have any in my house. I'm sure there's one in my house somewhere. Dad's hiding. Yeah, it's hiding somewhere. All right. Is that one? It's part of the spring. All right, that's on there. It's a little bit loose. I might need to put another washer in there. Yeah, I have to put another washer in there. Yeah. Whatever though, that's good enough for the moment. Not entirely sure what this mystery motor is, but uh, four and a half volts. Uh, sounds good. <laughs> so slow. <laughs> That is super strong though. Yep. Mighty strong. Is that thing on? Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna walk really slow. That'll be like one step. <laughs> oh, my wire fell out. Okay, well, we're gonna start the step, yeah. and then this will be one step. And then this will be two steps. But I remember when I made this, I made lots of gearing options. Um, one of the options is, I think what I actually ended up doing was instead of running from this gear, I ended up putting the motor over here and ran it straight against this one, which speeds it up by whatever ratio these gears are. I don't know, five times or something like that. So I remember when I was looking at that little video of this robot, the motor was sticking out this side. It wasn't tucked in. Okay, I took the gear out that goes in that hole, that one right there. And then I, <laughs> just with this little hand drill, drew a new hole for this gear. So it's still touching this gear. Yeah, still touching, still got good contact. So just moved it, you know, kind of along the edge of that gear. But now it should be close enough to the motor it's a little bit too close, but that's okay. I'd rather it be too close and not close enough because I can just put a little spacer in there. Okay. Let's tip it a little bit so it's a little... Okay, that's about right. Oh, beauty, that was great. Let's see, that's five volts right there. Yeah, that's pretty strong still. Six volts. I don't think I can run it on... Well, that's pretty fast. 
three volts is, <laughs> I don't think this motor is made for three volts. Yeah, I think this is like a five to six -ish volt motor. So I get this motor to like this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I took out one of the gears. There should be a somewhere around five times faster. Feels like it's still strong enough, even with this little motor. Good. I was I was hoping I could still use one of these little motors, because you know it fits right there. If I put a bigger motor, I, to, I don't know. Anyway, it fits. So and I think it's strong enough and fast enough. So we'll go with that. All right. This is the third version of this piece. Hopefully I've got all the modifications done. Luckily, my son has lots of jobs to do with the, the old pieces. Hey, check it out, I added a little motor holderizer. All right, Jamie, quit screwing around. Yep, gotta take a quick break to see if this works. Okay, back to robot parts. Um, all right, got that. Need one more of those. Oh, that is awesome. Fits in there nice and snug, but not too hard to get in. Oh, so good. That is excellent. I think that's it. I did end up taking one of the gears out. I put a little more grease in there, get it smoothed out a bit, but yeah, it looks really good. Now that I've got these parts the way I want them, I'm putting lithium grease in everything as I put it together. Oh, so yeah, I was gonna do six rollers, but I don't know. No, let's do three. Because I can use the other three holes for screws then, hold it together. <laughs> well, they look like they might be all right for that job. Yeah. Let's drill them out a little bit to fit. Okay, I think the steering is all in there, right? Hopefully this fits. Haha, <laughs> beauty. That could definitely move faster, but yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, eh? Make it strong. Oh, why is it slipping? Oh, I see. Before I made an adjustment, I actually filed the gears to be a little shorter so that they'd fit in the previous one. But on this one, I gave them a bit more space so they don't need to be filed down. I think I have another set. Yeah, I have another set that I haven't filed yet. I'll put those in here. 